So you might remember not so long ago, the grass, what we call the grass, which is of course mostly weeds, uh, was all brown or almost all brown. We walk through the grove and it was crunch, crunch, crunch. Our irrigation system just, you know, is a minimal system. It just irrigates a little part of the root zone for each tree. And uh, so anyway, things were looking not too lively. And now we've had rain for like a week. Uh, not very much sunshine and uh, lots of rain. Like probably, I'd say averaging about an inch and a half to two inches a day. And so this makes the grass happy, the trees happy, and the weeds really happy. And uh, the important thing though is, what does that mean to the mangoes? And so for a while, the mangoes were just sort of hanging on the tree, not growing very much, and all this rain is going to help them grow. But because we haven't had much sunshine, the mangoes really aren't ripening yet. So it's sort of good news and bad news. When they do ripen, they'll be bigger. Um, but right now, they're just busy growing. And another thing that can happen, of course, you've probably seen this, is uh, mango splitting. And that happens when suddenly the water that is available to the tree is a lot more than it was used to. The skin of the mango is uh, not as pliable as, as it could have been, and there's splits. And several varieties are more prone to that than others. This happens to be a Nam Dak Mai, and Valencia Pride is also prone to that. But uh, anyway, the bottom line is happy trees, hopefully bigger mangoes, but we don't have the right fruit now.